Well, Kenny, welcome back to Bathurst. I've brought you here to B-Town Barbecue, which is one of uh, the many unique locations, I guess, we have here in Bathurst for eating. But you've raced at Spa, you've raced at Suzuka, Daytona, South Africa. What does Bathurst mean to you in terms of endurance racing? It's the one and only. It's, it's everything. To, to every driver that's ever been here and those who haven't been here, you tell them you haven't raced. You know, I, uh, I was talking to Jimmy Johnson, a friend of mine, he's a seven time NASCAR champion. I said, you, for everything you've done, you haven't done anything until you've come here. Um, and a lot of the Europeans who say that and they don't believe us till they get here. And then it's just, you know, they're speechless, they're lost for words. It's, um, to me, I mean, I grew up here watching and, and coming here, but uh, it's having seen probably most of the best tracks in the world and raced and, and done well on a lot of them, there's still nothing like here. You've come close, 2018, finishing second with Jamie Winkup. Uh, tell me about that race and where that ranks in terms of your uh, achievements. Yeah, probably the most special, um, just because I love this place so much and I had not been here in, in close to 20 years. Uh, last time I was here was in a Formula Ford, I think, um, and I was a lot younger, uh, better looking. You know, put a team together kind of at the last minute with AMG and, and never met Jamie and, uh, you know, you got different personalities and everyone came together that weekend and it was great. And, you know, I said to my friends later, you could come here for 20 years and, and not make the podium. Tell me about the team that you've assembled for this year's assault on the Bathurst 12 hours. Some, some really big names. Jules Gunon, the defending champion, is one of them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, super guy, French guy. Uh, for a French guy, he's okay. He's, uh, he's honest. He's a nice guy. We finished on the podium at the Dubai 24 hour. Got to ride a camel, which was an <laughs> uh, interesting experience. Not during the race. <laughs> uh, no, no. But a uh, camel tried to bite me a few times. but. But that was fun. Um, so, look, he's super quick, Luca's quick, and then, you know, in terms of the bronze drivers, I think Marty's uh, probably one of the best out there. So we've done really well together over the years. You know, now it's just fingers crossed. <laughs> Not to do something silly. Before we go outside, one yep. question. Obviously, you're Australian, now living in America. Who does barbecues better, Aussies or the Yanks? When it comes to barbecues, I mean, over there, they couldn't organise a two-car funeral down a one-way street. You know, it's just, there's no clue. I mean, we are we are the barbecue nation. Don't even try to take that away. Um, no comparison. So um, that's an easy one. All right, Kenny, well, this is the famous smoker and ash. You're going to reveal the Welcome. showpiece. Welcome. Let's unwrap it. <sighs> The Meat Lovers Christmas, so uh, <laughs> and we've got two things in here. We've got pork butts. It's been smoking for 14 hours, and as you can see, it's just dripping oh. with moisture. Wow, 14 hours. That's longer than the Bathurst 12-hour race, oh. so that puts it in perspective, right? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what about we uh, we come here and we put one of these on before we start the 12-hour, and then uh, after you've celebrated on the podium, of course, Come back for a feed. Right, or maybe they can bring it for lunch in between <laughs> sessions. Don't forget about the cold beer inside. I think you'll be uh, looking more. I'm not sure that. what the stewards would say, but I'll have one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ash, for having us here. And Kenny, all the best for the weekend. Thank you, appreciate it. I'm excited.